Okay, so I'm in the process of painting uh, this mini excavator, IHI 9VX-3. I got some of the parts up there getting painted and taking it apart. Now, I actually ran out of paint, so I gotta get some more. So, I want to deal with the main thing that's kind of bothering me on this machine, and that's the amount of play that is in this swing motor. And that is a lot of play. I know maybe they're supposed to have some play. This machine only has 1,700 hours on it, and I don't think they're supposed to have that much play. But I want to make sure that I'm not damaging anything by running it like this. And it's kind of aggravating when you're driving and the whole machine just moving side to side. So I already have the majority taken apart as far as the covers go. And that is the swing motor right there. Now... I've never taken one of these out before, so it's kind of new to me. But I'm going to go ahead and pressure wash and get all that mud and, and dirt um, out of there. But it looks to be the original motor. Uh, it could have been rebuilt, I don't know. This part right here looks pretty clean. But um, I know this cover has been taken off just because one or one bolt I mean you could tell when bolts have been taken out before so I don't know if there was work done to it previously or not but anyway something I want to get fixed but I'm gonna get all this mud and stuff cleaned out of here got this part um, in the process of painting and I'm going to go ahead and paint this hydraulic cylinder. I'm going to go get some caps for these things at the hydraulic supply house. Okay, so we're fast forward here a little bit. I actually got the pump out, just pulled it out, the gear dropped off, and um, it does, I don't see any broken teeth, but we'll inspect it for wear. There's a primary gear set right there. Which that could be the problem itself, or that might just be the... Actually, no, I don't even think there's a primary gear set in there. I think that's just a housing for the pump. I had to get all these uh, hydraulic lines taken off. Now, what I've done is I've capped a lot of them. I've marked them. Like, for example, this one would be A and A and then B for this one. I also color-coded them with zip ties. Uh, I got a couple of different color zip ties here. Green, red, white, and uh, black zip ties. Took all this cover off also uh, to get to it. Yeah, it was uh, fairly hard to get this thing out. I didn't uh, record much of it, just just because uh, I had a low battery the whole time, but let's bring this on the bench and take a look at it. All right, so I got the motor all cleaned up, got the gear all cleaned up, and this is what I have found. Now, um, 
I want to point out one thing. On this gear, you can see there's a a lot of wear on these gear teeth. And it looks like I can flip this gear around and use this part. I think they designed this for that specific reason. So that's a plus. Now, what I've found is this woodruff key has a lot of play on this shaft. And if we put it back together, that is a lot of play on that shaft. And that's where our play is coming from on the on the swing. Um, if you look on this, there's these grooves actually wore into the metal. I don't know if they come like that, but I don't think they do. Looks like that is from it constantly pushing on the edge of this motor shaft and you can see that it's not a tight fit. I think I could get by with getting another key either machined or made. I hope I don't have to get another motor because of this shaft. It is slightly worn out it looks like but I think I can get by with making a, a larger key because there's even play uh, this is fine in here there's a little bit of play but with it being flipped around I think I think we'll be okay so I'm gonna work on finding another key and we will see how see how that turns out. Hopefully that will fix the problem. So I'm checking the slew gear teeth and they seem to be they seem to be okay. I don't see any broken ones or anything. There's a lot of dirt in there though. Just ran my finger around the whole thing with some diesel fuel and cleaned it off a little bit but I'm gonna go ahead and pressure wash it. The bearing down there, can't even tell it's a bearing, but it seems to be okay also. I was trying to get this housing out, but I had a little trouble getting that out, so let's, uh, let's get it pressure washed and then we'll go from there. Okay, so now there's a little bit of play in this, not much, and I think it's supposed to be like that. But what I have done, I figured out here, is I got this Woodruff key, and so that is a lot less play. There's actually none at all in the gear itself. Um, the only play is from the motor shaft. So, if I try and turn this, there's, there's no play. So I'm going to try that out, swap the gear around, and actually flip the Woodruff key over. And it's a pretty tight fit, so I think that's going to work. If it doesn't, then there's a couple other things I can do. I can actually... I can weld this and grind it and get another woodruff key but this is um, pretty tight just like that so I mean there's there's no play in the gear itself so let's try that and see how it goes
Thank <laughs> you. 